Gamers with large hands have always been on the lookout for big controllers for the Nintendo Switch. More so for handheld mode than TV mode. After all, there are plenty of full-sized controllers available for the Switch, but not so many for portable play. There are a few third-party options, though people have overall gotten mixed results from things like the Nixies. The good thing is, those were inspired by a set of Joy-Con replacements by the company Hori, and we're finally going to talk about them. With their new Split Pad Compact on the horizon for next month, let's dive into the original. Here is my review of the Split Pad Pro for Nintendo Switch. By design, the Split Pad Pro is a pair of controllers that snap onto the Switch like the Joy-Cons do, turning the smaller controllers into much larger ones. In terms of size comparison, the Split Pad is larger than most other Switch controllers. Each one is comparable and larger than some portions of even the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and it sports some buttons that are bigger as well. Speaking of, let's go into what we have here on the design. Each one has an analog stick on the front, face buttons, D-pad, plus and minus button, home and screenshot, along with turbo functions and the ability to assign a button to the special custom triggers on the back of the controller. And on top, we have triggers in a sort of pro controller style. This is all on a pretty beefy shell with little areas on the bottoms as handholds. It's also got these big tabs on the back where it locks in place as a sort of stand when the switch is laying flat. Thankfully, they're pretty light. Not as light as the Joy-Cons, but light enough that they don't feel too heavy when in use. But let's get to features in the nitty gritty of these controllers. The Split Pad Pro doesn't have a built-in battery, so they can't be used wirelessly. They must be connected to the Switch in handheld mode to be used. While there is an expensive accessory out there to use them as a wired controller, they're effectively handheld only. The other downside is that these controllers do not have an NFC reader, and more importantly, no motion controls. I was a bit hesitant when I bought them because they don't have gyro. I used that excessively when playing games like Fortnite on the Switch, so I wasn't sure I was ready to let go of that feature. That leads us to handling. These controllers feel good in the hands. They rest comfortably in my palms and all of the buttons feel very good. My thumbs never slipped on the analog sticks and it's worth noting that the analogs here are bigger than the ones on the Pro Controller and even the PS4 and PS5 controllers. The other buttons also felt very responsive when playing pretty much anything. I mostly played Fortnite, Crash Bandicoot 4, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 with these controllers and found them very comfortable. And getting back to the lack of motion controls, whether it's the design of the controllers, me getting a little better at the game each day, or a combination of both, but I didn't miss the gyro aiming of Fortnite at all. My skill level didn't really feel different, though perhaps I thought I was relying more on the gyro than I actually was. With the actual performance of the buttons and input delay, things are good as well. There's pretty much no input lag at all, and it feels just as responsive as the Joy-Cons. Maybe this has to do with the fact that it's constantly hooked into the system and not running on an internal battery, but regardless, they play very well. Now, as we bring our thoughts together, Hori made a winner with the Split Pad Pro. It's a set of big and comfy controllers that feel like they came from the big sibling consoles and even has buttons bigger than those found on the likes of the PlayStation 4 and 5. It is a bummer that motion isn't built in and they can't be used wirelessly for doctor tabletop play. But if you want controllers for on-the-go gaming that'll give you a comfortable and responsive feel, they are definitely worth that $50 price tag. Reviews to Go rates the Split Pad Pro for Nintendo Switch a 9 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.